Hey, what's up everyone? It's Priscilla from JobScan and this month we have some exciting new product updates that I'm super excited to share with you guys. So let's dive in and take a look and see what's new here at JobScan. So first up, you may have noticed on your JobScan dashboard that we added this interview widget and this is great if you have a bunch of interviews lined up and you want them all to live in the same place so you can just go to one place to check when your next interview is going to take place. And so to update this, go into your job tracker tool and you can click on any of these opportunity cards. So I'm going to click on this one and go over to the interviews tab. And once you're in this tab, you can fill in all the information that corresponds to your interview. So whether it's a phone or video or in-person interview when it's going to take place so if it's let's say tomorrow and then any sort of information that you want to remember for your interview you can type in in this description area below here and once you save this it'll send you an email to remind you of your interview and on your home page on your job scan dashboard it will have this reminder set up for you right here. And I love this feature. This one is probably my favorite and it was added by our engineer Duarte. So thank you Duarte for this incredible addition. So next up is a new feature in Power Edit and shout out to our engineer Fabio who added this one. So now in Power Edit, you can start a new session with a new resume for an existing job description that is already in Power Edit. So previously you couldn't scan a different resume using the same job description, but now if you decide, hey, this isn't the resume that I wanted to use or I want to optimize a job description that's already in the system with a new resume, I can now do that. So now in your dashboard, you can paste in an existing job description and let's say I already optimized it with resume one and I want to do it now with this resume, I can scan it and it'll recognize that this job description is already in the system and it'll ask me if I want to continue with this new scan resume or reopen it with the existing scan. Just be sure if you are using the new resume, it will override any changes that you have made to the one that is already existing. Okay, so now our last and final update is also in Power Edit. So let's take a look. So under this formatting section, you can see that we added a little memo and took away the formatting fields that were originally checks to make sure your resume was ATS friendly. We decided to take those checks away and add this little memo here because if you are a Power Edit user or if you use any of our existing resume templates that are free to download on our website, these are all already ATS friendly and formatted to be searchable within a recruiter's ATS. So there is really no need to worry about whether or not your resume will pass all the checks. And so this little memo was added by our engineer, David. So thank you, David, for that addition. And that is all for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and we'll try our best to answer it. Also, be sure to check out our new resume builder, which is now live on our site. A link to that will be below in the description and it is completely free to use, free to download your resume, free to edit your resume or create a new one. And I swear where it is the best resume builder on the market today. I'm biased, but I really think you should check it out. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next month.